Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the viewer buzz, I have another video about another milestone type thing. Well, a medal that you can unlock. So, yes, and when I say unlock, it's just an achievement. There you go. No, not that one. <laughs> that was my last episode. I put a video in the top right corner. This one here, Smuggling Run. Yes, so basically, you have to smuggle contraband from pirate systems of space into normal areas of space. Base. Where's my smuggle wagon? It's not out. I better call in my smuggle wagon. My smuggle wagon is a hauler, people. So it's got a lot more storage capacity. Well, it hasn't actually. They've all got the same storage capacity, haven't they? But you can see here, I've got a load of freaking you know, station overrides and I need to put away. And I've got a load of modules that have uninstalled themselves. Yes, I haven't done anything with my hauler since the uh, waypoint update. So let me just fix a few things, get my adjacency bonuses as good as I can, and just reshuffle a few bits. There you go, I sped up that footage because that bit wasn't all that interesting, but I still felt it was key to keep in, just in case you guys are in the same boat. Anyhow, well, I say same boat, it's a spaceship. Anyway, let's take on off, let's fly on out, and let's go and do some smuggling. Now, you may have noticed I've got the conflict scanner installed and the economy scanner installed. You don't need neither of them, really, because you should still see a little mini skull appear in this little sort of box that appears when you're going around the galactic map. And here we go, there's a pirate system there with the pirate sort of skull in it, but you can see it a lot clearer if you have the conflict scanner installed and the economy scanner. Well, chums, well, while I'm just sort of spinning around heading into the station, just to explain, yes, I don't normally sound like Barry White, no, I've got the man flu, the intergalactic lurgy of men, yes, it's freaking evil, but you know what, I'm just going to soldier through. Anyhow, let's head on in, but yeah, I haven't got a new mic. <laughs> no, no, actually, it sounds quite nice, doesn't it? It's got a bit of bass, ba 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 bass <laughs> Anyway, let's head on into the old Stessione. You can see here it's broken to fudge, but... It's it's got gun turrets at the front there, so it's not an abandoned one, heck no. This one is full of outlaws, or pirates, whichever you want to call them, really. But yes, it's nice to know that they have a home in the spatial universe. Awesome. Now, you may have noticed there's a few sort of logos in here and sort of symbols that you don't see in other space stations. I hope one day they all sort of make sense inside of the lore. It'd be nice to have some sort of back-end lore book developed by Hello Games that goes more into the old lore of the universe. I'll buy it! Right, anyway, here we go. Let's, um, let's go over here. Now, what we're talking about buying stuff. I'm going to buy all the stuff that's got purple text on it. That's contraband. That's the stuff that we need to smuggle. I'm also going to buy this tritium. Just I always run out of it. I'm finding myself just shooting asteroids all the time. Yeah, there's lots of other stuff you can buy here, like the larval cores and the hadal cores or whatever, and spin those into nanites, which is quite fun. Now, because I've visited a lot of pirate systems in space already, all I'm going to do is jump to other pirate space stations. Now, if you're in a pirate space station, you can only jump to other space pirate stations. If you're inside of a normal station, you can only jump to normal stations. So there we go. Yes, you're restricted. You've gone to restrict Shion. For people in the viewerverse, if you're liking what you're hearing with your ear holes and seeing with your eye peepers, then please hit that like and subscribe and let us know that you're here and liking what you see. Yeah, add a comment too if you like. Right, so I've just teleported to another pirate system. Now, I tend to work from my portal list from the bottom up because, yes, it puts the newest ones that you've visited to the top of the list. So it's a lot easier to do it from the bottom up. Anyway, here you go. I'm just using the left arrow there, people. I don't know whether you know that, but it may moves the stack to the maximum. And that's the same when selling as well. Just use the chevron to the left and you can buy it all in bulk or sell it all in bulk, whichever menu you're in. There we go. I know, right? Tips coming out of the wazoo anyway i'm going to be hitting up the portal again and doing the same again and i'm just going to go through my whole portal list doing the same over and over and over again don't you worry i'm not going to do them all for you but there you go i've just doing done a couple as an example so here we go i want one with a skull it's so that's that one i'm going there heck yes two thousand years later 
Well, more like 10 sort of pirate space stations later, rather than 2,000 years, but it did feel that way. And who knows inside this simulation where 16, 16 minutes has lasted a freaking eternity. Anyhow, let's head on over to the portal, and rather than hit on up another pirate station, I'm going to be hitting up somewhere else that I can go. But you can see here, clearance is not allowed to my actual freighter, heck no, but I can warp to my actual settlement or any of my other bases. So if you haven't got a settlement, just warp to one of your bases. And if you've got a trade terminal at your base and it's in a normal system of space, not a pirate system of space, you could just sell it to that galactic trade terminal at a base of your own. Heck yes. Anyway, we'll get to bases and how you can use bases rather than sort of, um, you know, pirate space stations in a bit to get contraband as well. So yeah, look, I can warp to anything now that I'm at my actual settlement and it's the same with any of your bases. You can warp to pirate systems or normal systems. So it's just a hop, skip and a jump away. So you're probably thinking right now, Captain Steve, well, why bother even using your freaking hauler? Yeah, I know, right? Good freaking point. You can just teleport wherever you want to go. It um, completely defeats the point of smuggling, which is a bit of a shame because I, I would like to see that, you know, force that you have to fly it from system to system because let's face it, you get scanned by system authorities and you have to use passports and all sorts of other shenanigans to get your, um, you know, your, your favor back with that sort of race. Not that favor does anything right now. Yeah, it does feel that this needs a little bit of work to bring it into the universe in its completeness. But here we go. I'm selling every, everything that's got purple sort of markers on. Boom, dilly, boom, dilly, boom, dilly, chak, chak, boom, chak, pow, chak, pow, chak, pow, chak, boom. Done. And let's see how I've moved that little score on the doors. So at the start of all of this, I was on 11,000 contrabands. I'm now on 29,000 thousand contrabands heck yes but now i need to gain myself fifty thousand units through smuggling of goods right okay well i could make a massive nip nip farm on my freighter and i haven't got a giant nip nip farm on my freighter no chums but i have got a couple of nip nip plants on my freighter i say a couple i think i've got about eight of them so you know what i'm just gonna go and harvest all eight plants from my actual freighter and then try selling them on my freighter i'm gonna call this freighter straight into this system that i'm in right now people it's got a galactic trade terminal on it as well so yes if this works and we see those points move from 29,000 to something else this could be an idea just build a massive nip nip farm on your freighter and use it as contraband and selling heck yes let's give it a go so here I am on my garden centre on my freighter. I imagine some of you guys have got something very similar to this going on on your own freighter. Let's pick up all plants using the blue button in the middle. Whoops, well, I fudged that up. Brilliant, we've got them all. I say all, oh, that's four. There's another four over at the other side because I like to use symmetry in my build. So yes, what's on one side is on the other. And yeah, I've got all the plants here set up to make myself live in glass. Yeah, let's go on over here and let's pick on up those ones. Brilliant, dundly and done. Well, that's all eight. Now let's go and sell them and see how much it moves that marker. So I was on 29,000. Where are my nip-nip buds? There they are. They're already worth 300,000, so we might not see much of a movement, actually. All right, well, rather than use a galactic trade terminal on my actual freighter, I'm going to use one in the station, but it would have worked the same way. Right, so here we go, sell, and let's uh, just jump down here. And where are they? Oh, they're going to be at the bottom, aren't they? There they are. 300,000. Let's see if it's moved it at all. Has it tripped over into the 30,000 now? Let's have a quick gander. You know what? I should pin that medal, shouldn't I? So we can see it in the bottom left corner. It's it's moved a little on the 394. Yeah, or whatever. Done. Okay, right. Fine. So I think that does work. So you know what? I've got a massive nip-nip farm base, people. Heck yes, I have. So I'm going to jump down to my nip-nip farm base. I'll see you there in a moment. And I'll be giving you coordinates for my nip nip farm yeah you're more than welcome to come and grab some Four well, chums here i am at my nip nip farm and it's a bit nippy here it's very cold outside it's a frost crystal sort of well well i say frost crystal world it's a frost crystal world and it's also got storm crystals all over it because this has got extreme weather conditions now what i love about this is i've built by an archive and it's got these geck sort of hologram up here and considering we're growing nip nip that the geck loves so much it does feel like a little industry going on here yeah it's pretty darn gnarly look at all the lightning bolts in the back 
background and the atmospherics of this planet as well. It's actually a really beautiful planet. When a storm rolls in, I know that's a weird thing to say, but it honestly is. And look at this. This is my nip nip farm. Now I haven't done super biodomes. Now Scottish Rod's got an awesome guide on how you can plant multiple plants in a single biodome. And I could really go to town on this and really improve it, but I'm not very good at glitching and stuff. But anyway, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner to his super biodome video. But for you guys right now, what you probably want is the coordinates for this lovely place. There you go, it's in Euclid. I built this in normal mode. Now what I would suggest people in the view of us is, you know, this is a good place to put down nip nip farms, I, I feel, or to make glass farms, considering it's already got frost crystal on it or whatever. But I'm inviting you guys in the view of us to come over here and build your own nip nip farms. And then that way people can just come here, get nip nip, and get that sort of metal done very quickly if this works if this works if this moves my amount we'll see we see if it works when i've collected all of these nip nip plants and we go and sell them at the galactic trade terminal thank you yes and i've got a galactic trade terminal right here at the base whoops i hit my teleporter terminal there so i want to hit those screens there harvest all plants boom there we go not so many in that one okay right so now let's head on over to my secondary part of my nip nip farm i love the lightning i love the atmospherics here but yes you're more than welcome to come build just don't build too close to other people's bases because it could cause crashes or other problems and all sorts of issues so yeah and yeah don't build right by mine <laughs> okay so yeah try and build something like 5,000 use away from each other's bases at least okay so that's the least yeah so make sure you're away from other people's bases yeah just to, just so it doesn't cause a crash because a lot of these biodomes because they use glass as well and all these plants sort of you know the structures and things it can slow the game down massively now what you can do now even if you haven't got the resources to do all this and you're thinking that's a big ass captain steve we'll just change it from normal mode into creative mode build your base as well, i say build it build it as big as you want but just keep the complexity in mind and that there's older consoles here including nintendo switch now so yes i wouldn't go massive just i'd say this sort of size is probably big enough or just slightly bigger so yeah just keep that in mind just be mindful of the full viewerverse or out there and just build to that sort of constraint anyways right now i'm on 34 millions 34 millions let's see if we can move that millions up a tad right so i've got loads of freaking nip nip now again let's interact with the washing machine on the wall hello there washing machine on the wall and we're going to scroll on down and we're going to take a look see okay right so we've got all this now and it's worth 11 million Okay, has that moved it up to 40-something millions? Let's have a quick look-see. Yeah, my math isn't great. 45 million! Heck yes, people in the view of us, it blinking works, but I've got to hit 50 million yet. So yeah, I'm going to have to wait another four hours for all my nip-nip to grow back. But if there were other nip-nip bases here, people, I could visit them! So yes, people in the view of us, if you do want to build here, like I say, you're more than welcome to be my neighbour. Just be courteous one. Heck yes, until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. Add Froze Revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.